What's happening YouTube? It's Movernoscopy. Gonna go ahead and check in with you for the third and final installment of my t-shirt collection. Like I said, I don't really collect t-shirts, but one day it dawned on me that I have a lot of t-shirts, so I kind of collect them without having the collector's mindset. Does that make any sense? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rest of these real quick. First and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and get, get this one out of the way. Um, I know a lot of people don't like ICP. I'm sure you know if you watch my videos that I do. This is my original uh, Ringmaster t-shirt. Got this on eBay for like 12 shipped. And it's awesome. Don't wear it uh, too often, but whenever I do, I wear it with pride because, uh, dude, come on, it's the fucking Ringmaster. That's, that's cool. And this next one, I also got this one on eBay. It was like 20 shipped. And uh, at first it was supposed to be like the Kill at Will EP t-shirt, you know, with like Ice Cube handing over the gun. But um, they shipped it from overseas, wherever I bought it from, and um, they sent me the, this, this one instead. And I wasn't about to um, get my panties in a twist, you know, it wasn't worth it. I mean, it was 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Ice Cube is Ice Cube, and this t-shirt is still equally as cool, I guess, maybe. It still would be nice to have that Kill at Will t-shirt, but I'll deal with this. Uh, it'll do for sure. Uh, this is my Child's Play 2 t-shirt. Believe it or not, I actually bought this at Walmart for five bucks, like, new with tags. I couldn't believe it. And, um, yeah, Child's Play. Come on, classic, dude. Five bucks? I mean, I couldn't pass that up. This next one I also got at the Norwalk Goodwill fairly recently. Um, another one of those 90s dopey tees that I like so much. It's uh, built for the long haul, and honestly, if that's supposed to be a sexual innuendo, I don't get it. It's... Not funny at all, but that's exactly the reason why I bought it, because it's just a 90s dopey tee. And plus it's purple. I don't really have any purple t-shirts. And as a matter of fact, it's the only purple one I have. So yeah. Definitely enjoy having that one for sure. This one's really sweet. Actually, this this whole like pile I'm about to show you, all my favorite t-shirts pretty much. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like a lot of the ones I just showed you, but man, these ones are really, really where it's at. Whether it's sentimental value or just awesomeness in general. Uh, my... Uh, cat in the hat t-shirt hardly ever wear this because I don't want it to uh, get ruined or anything found this at the Norwalk Goodwill about three or four years ago really really sweet t-shirt man I like that one a lot this one mm, my brother got this for me whenever he went to uh, New York on a senior trip because he heard me talking about it whenever um, I went in 2006 and he brought this back for me because I was telling him about how like, I wish I would have bought one and he's so cool he did and I was actually surprised. It was really cool of him to do that. And I never really wear this one, not because it's red, but just because of the whole, uh, well, it's an awesome t-shirt, but there's a time and a place to wear this, and I don't really uh, find that time and place too often, you know what I'm saying? This is one that my ex-girlfriend, the same one who bought me that mustache t-shirt, she uh, she gave this to me, and when we broke up, like I begged her to let me keep it, and she agreed, so that was cool. Fortunately for me, she can't fit in anymore, but man, this t-shirt is so awesome. She said she bought this at uh, Suncoast back in the day, and uh, I guess that's really not important, but what I'm trying to say is, dude, this t-shirt is awesome, man. Like, I, this is another one I hardly ever wear just because I don't want it to get ruined. Man, I, I love this t-shirt. Hell yeah. So that was free. This is another one. I was thinking about this today. I actually bought this uh, back when I was uh, a senior in high school, 2005, and I've worn this all over the place. My uh, Snoop Dogg Doggy Style t-shirt. I think the album Doggy Style is entirely overrated, but that's not the point. We're talking about t-shirts right now, but uh, yeah, not to say that I'm a poser or anything. I just I mean, I like Snoop Dogg, but this t-shirt, the album cover is awesome, and um, dude, I've just worn this like so much. I can't even begin to tell you like all the time for like the first five years I owned it, and then I kind of slowed down because I was like, you know what, this t-shirt's awesome, and I want to like preserve it for the years or whatever, you know? So, I, I mean, I wear it still, but not nearly as often as I once did. This is another one. It's like a local thing, and I just bought it because uh, it's just another stupid t-shirt. And I just like t-shirts that have, like, the year printed on them, like, from, like, as long as they're, like, 10 years old or older. It's kind of a weird criteria, but it's just something that I'm into. And as you can see, it's from 2003. I don't know. I can't explain it. Uh, not one of my favorite t-shirts, but I do have this. <laughs> And I'm not going to talk anymore about that, but it is a lightweight t-shirt, and that's why I do like it. Um, this is another one, just a, kind of like a trash t-shirt. You know, I kind of wear it just like hobnobbing around. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have even showed that. Um, got this for Christmas. My mom and my sister got this for me. Not in the Transformers at all, but um, it's a lightweight t-shirt. And, you know, Christmas gifts are cool. So, um, another one I bought... 
uh, just that the Nurlocke Goodwill is because it's uh, a little more elegant than the Transformers, to say the least. This one was sent to me by, um, who was it? Uh, I forgot what that guy's name is. Uh, I met him at Cinema Wasteland one year. Um, this is like one of his designs that the image, the, it's crooked, you know, but it was free. Um, and that's cool. I really wish I could think of that dude's name right now. Sorry, I mean, maybe he watches my videos. Who knows, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be, but it was free, and even though it's crooked, I still enjoy having it. Um, <laughs> this next one, Narwhal Goodwill, you guessed it. Uh, don't really know what else to say about that one. I actually found this at the Goodwill down the road from where I work and where I went to high or school, broadcasting school. Um, pretty cool. Don't worry, wear it. Don't wear it as much as I would want to because it's like heavyweight and you know I don't really like wearing heavyweight T-shirts. But um, I just like it's a stupid graphic tee. I like to have that one. This one, I like this one for obvious reasons. Because, you know, I mentioned the Cavs in the last video and LeBron James and Glory Days. This t-shirt's awesome. It's a little bit too small, but I still wear it anyway because uh, it's awesome. I don't know. I just really like that one a lot. It's a really nice play on words. Let's see what we have here. Oh, yeah. Classic. Never going to get rid of this one <laughs> for obvious reasons. My friend Chuck, he actually found this. Uh, the guy who did the artwork for Dreamcastle Volume 2, his name's Chris. He actually found this. I've had this for, like, you know, since I was in high school, too. Um, he found this in the kids section at the Sandusky Goodwill. And he's like, dude, Dave, you gotta buy this. And I was like, you know what? I think you're right. There's another one I wear all the time. And actually, the very last one I want to show you, um, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna, we're not doing that. Uh, don't ask. It's just for video purposes only. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's been all my t-shirts. Hope you liked it. And if not, then sorry, I wasted your time. Or some t-shirts.